Hello and welcome to lesson one of week one. My name is Mildred. In this lesson, we are going to look at the basic structure of an HTML5 document. Before we start, I am going to create a folder on my desktop and it is in this folder that I will save all of my files for the project that we are going to create as we go along. So I'll create a folder. So you can give your folder any name, but I'm going to give it my first name underscore my last name it is within this folder that i will save all of the codes that we are going to write in this course i will open my text editor and i'll close all of this i'm going to add the folder that i just created so the folder is on my desktop and open now let's start i want to create a new file and this file is going to be our template because it is going to hold the structure of an HTML5 document. Once you have the structure written, you can always use this template to recreate other pages. The first line of every HTML5 document is a doc type declaration. Now what is HTML? The H in HTML stands for hyper. The T stands for text. The M stands for markup and the L language. Now HTML is not a programming language but it is a markup language or the standard for creating web pages. What it does is that it encapsulates text within tags. So we have elements and these elements are written within tags. Tags in HTML are written with a less than sign followed by the name of the element and then a greater than sign. This is called the start tag. We have the end tag which is written with a less than sign followed immediately by a forward slash and then the name of the element to close the tag. It is between the start and the end tag that we write all of the data. The first line of every HTML5 document is a doc type declaration and it is written with a less than sign an exclamation mark doc type html this is not an html element it only tells the browser the version of html in which the page was written and then it helps different browsers to pass the data in the same way so every time you create an html page you want to start with a doc type declaration the first tag is the html tag written html this html tag has a closing tag it is between the start and the end html tag that all your html elements and data is written you do not write any html elements before this html tag and after the closing tag now we have elements that start and close but we also have elements that are called void elements that do not close and we're going to look at the void elements as we go along there are two parts to the html document we have the head part and we have the body part within the head is where all the metadata are written Everything written within this head tag is not displayed on the web page. Everything written within the body part is displayed on the web page. The first line of an HTML5 document is a doc type declaration written with a less than sign and exclamation mark doc type HTML and closes with a greater than sign. The first HTML element after the doc type declaration is the HTML tag. It has a closing tag. It is between the start and the end HTML tag that you write all other HTML elements. Between the start and end HTML tags there are two parts. The head part which holds metadata and the body part which holds information that are displayed on the web page. This is the basic structure of an HTML5 document. We want to save this structure as a template because we are going to always write this um, for every web page. And as we go along, we are going to see how we can create a header file. And instead of always writing this on every page, we just have one header that we include on other pages. But that is going to be in course two. So we have the template and I'm going to save this and I will save this as templates. Now file extensions. Notice that when you have your document, if it's a Word document, you have the extension .doc. If you have a PDF file, you have .pdf. We want to save a text file and the extension is .txt. If you want to save a web page, the extension must be .html or .htm. Because we want this to be our template, we will save it with .txt and we're going to save it 
in our project folder so now when you expand you'll find that here let's look at the head part of the document and i'm going to copy this and i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to paste it there i'm going to save this new file has an index page so let's say this is index.html and i'll save this now we can see how color coded the html document is and this is the reason we use a text editor that um, highlights syntax so that it makes our work easier and makes us spot errors faster so this is where we end this lesson in the next lesson we are going to look at the elements that comes within the head tag <music>